Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Collection DX review. I am Josh B. And this is the Future Exkoken Black Getter uh, Ryoma Mode Repaint version. Uh, die cast, amazing, expensive, wonderful, flawed toy. Okay. So, a few caveats before I start this review. Okay, pay attention carefully to this. One, see this metal plate on the chest? It's going to fall off. It's probably going to fall off a lot. I apologize. Uh, it's a design flaw in the toy that is easily fixed uh, uh, by a small bit of nail polish on the tabs that I haven't done yet. So for the purpose of this review, this is as it came out of the factory, it will fall off a bunch of times. In fact, I may just take it off uh, because of that. So get that out of the way. Um, so this is the Exkoken Black Getter. Ah, see what I tell you? <laughs> It's, it's an amazingly heavy, clicky, die-cast, giant robot. That is number two. We should put a little counter up on the screen every time that that happens. It'd be funny. Um, this was made by a guy named uh, Professor Sato, who uh, passed away a few years ago. This was his first uh, reimagining of the Getter robots and he did a lot in his sketchbook but this is the first one unfortunately it was a, like a mail away or something commended huge aftermark prices and I uh, missed the boat on it and by the time I got around to wanting one it was upwards of fifteen hundred dollars and I was not paying that so I just f gave up uh, any hope of getting it and eventually uh, settled for the regular color getters well uh, 2012 they uh, announced and reissued the Black Getter, a uh, slightly different paint scheme than the original uh, and with some different accessories than the original. So if you still bought the original, it's still unique, it's still different, but this fills enough of that need where I don't feel that I have to go and get the expensive version. Alright, so there's a bunch of parts and stuff, but we're going to start with this in its very basic form. So I'm going to go through some, some of the gimmicks here, the different things that it does. So obviously, head moves, and the faceplate comes off. It's transparent, reveals a badass skull face underneath it. Very cool. Uh, it hooks up, it's just a clear piece, it just hooks up underneath the chin and then you push down to get it to sit in there. That threw me at first when I first got it because uh, it kept falling out again like that. So this piece here, is, uh, let me move down to the chest area. It's solid die cast metal. You hear the metal. You can see the inner chest workings there. Uh, while this is off, I'll show you the shoulder movement. You get that, which is nice. Okay. You also have this gear spins. All right, and then rotates. So there's a lot going on there, which is nice. Um, there is some metal in the arms, that plate, uh, the, the lower arms are mostly metal. The chest uh, has some metal in it, but it is mostly plastic. Okay, as we move down the chest, there's another removable plate. And inside is a little getter energy generator thing that's removable. And if you go even lower, there is a little door, and there's a little Two, this comes. There's two different of these included. They're basically uh, getter energy tubes, I think, or radioactive. I don't even know what they are. But there's two of them. There's the short one, like, like, like this, and there's a long one. And they just plug in. Kind of, kind of neat little, just extra stuff. While we're down here, focused on this region, this hip is all metal. Listen to that, huh? That is very cool. All right, then you have the knee. Well, I'll show you this first. This is plate here. Check this out. Magnet. 
kind of neat. There's a reason why that's a removable part, and I'll show you that in a second. All right. So you get a double, double jointed there, and the feet. So rather nice all around, but there are more accessories that can be placed on him, and we will look at those in just a the moment. The addition of the scarf, cape, and claw accessories, we now have the badass version of Black Getter. That is really the attraction of why we're here. Um, so it is phenomenal looking from head to toe. It just looks like he's gonna kick your ass. You know, the, the cowl um, and the cape are two separate pieces. The cape is actually a hard plastic. The cowl's somewhat rubber. These claws on the hand, those snap on there, and the ones on the side over here uh, snap on to a little hole in the wrist after you pry out a little panel, which looks uh, something like that. But the thing is, I mean, yes, it's, it's freaking awesome. I mean, it's really just amazing looking. Just is like one of the best designs out there. But you can't really do much with it without everything falling apart. This is gonna be for comedic effect, but say you wish to turn the head. Oh, wait, the head comes off when you turn it because it's been propped up by this cowl which in turn, oh, holds that thing on. <laughs> so you can see where this is going. It's nice, but it's uh, it's a bit back heavy, but it, it stays on all right. Um, but it does change the whole weight distribution of the piece, so be careful there. So on one hand, fucking beautiful. Pardon my French, but really is just spectacular looking. Uh, but on the other hand, it's not super thought out, you know. But here's the thing. This was Sato's first design, you know. And it was really just kind of concentrated on being cool looking as opposed to, you know, he didn't know a whole lot about toy design. And unfortunately, he passed before his craft could be mastered. But uh, it, 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 this is really a display piece, you know. But it, it's got some cool, fun stuff to it. Uh, and it just looks killer. I mean, it just looks killer. Who wouldn't want this on their shelves? To, you know, granted you pick it up and some of the parts fall off, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, Black Getter. Now, I mentioned that uh, this is slightly different than the original release because it comes with extra parts. What parts are those, you say? Well... I will show you. That's right. In addition to having all the parts for a black getter, they also uh, have all the parts for black getter. <laughs> now, you may be confused. But I'll explain. In the uh, Getter Robo Armageddon series, um, you know, there is black getter. So, black getter is a character. It's a, it's a different version of Getter Robo on the moon with a cloak and uh, big blades on his arms and shit, and that's fine. But there's another thing that we, Japanese toy companies do, and they make a black version of a toy just to get more out of the mold, and it's become kind of a tradition, a lot of people do it. So as a bonus, they included parts to make a black version getter, in addition to black getter. So as you can see, the head is different from the other one. Um, it's got different arm blades. Comes with the uh, axe weapons, and uh, you'll notice that the leg pieces have been removed because they're magnetic. Uh, in the back, you can also see that it's a whole uh, different cape and different medallions from the Black Getter. Uh, and for added coolness, I figured I would show you, you know, the red version of the black version. So so this is how, uh, this is the repaint version of the red, and this is the repaint version of the black. The black version of, wait, 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 wait. It's the black 
version of Getter, but it's the repaint black version of Getter because the original black Getter didn't come with the repaint parts. I don't think. I don't have it, but confused yet? Yeah, I know. Um, either way, it is kind of awesome having these guys all together. I'll put him away for the moment so it doesn't fall. Uh, I did manage to secure the chest plate. With the, the chest plate for this version is even worse than the other one, but I found a cool little solution. So if you have this toy, this is what you can do. You cut some very fine strips of uh, electrical tape, black electric tape. Just cut them across this way so there's like little thin strips. And then you wrap them around the pins. And then when you push the chest piece in, it has a little bit of a uh, firmer... Uh, connection than it would otherwise. It's not perfect, but it's better than it falling out every two seconds. Um, some people use a little bit of glue, some people use nail polish. Um, whatever you can use to firm up those two pegs near the shoulder. So, do I recommend this? Uh, I, you know, it's one of those things I want to recommend it because it's such a cool design. But... Uh, it, there is just some some big flaws in execution, meaning you know, especially the you pick it up and parts fall off, and that's not cool. You think you know you're paying a lot of money for this thing, uh, three hundred and fifty dollars or so, um, uh, and that's you know aftermarket is going to be five six hundred bucks by the time it gets on eBay because these things sell out quickly. Uh, I mean, it's, it's if you have Xcoken stuff, it's par for the course. It's what you'll expect for the other ones. No worse than other ones. Um, but they did not improve on any of the design flaws of the original Black Getter or the original Getter. It's essentially the same body, uh, retooled, um, with some different colors. So if you're willing to accept that and you love this design like I do, then it's, yeah, get it for your collection. It'll look great in your display case. Um, but it's not the kind of thing that you're going to let your friends pick up and fiddle with because parts are going to f fly off here and there. So, that being said, take it with a grain of salt. If this is worth it to you, you can get yours at angles.com. A-N-G-O-L-Z. That's where this bad boy shipped from for me. Uh, however, if you didn't pre-order it, you're probably shit out of luck. Uh, keep an eye on the site for a restock or something like that. Whew, it is hot, hot, hot in here. Um, this is Josh B. from Collection DX. Uh, thanks again for watching. Keep an eye out for more kick-ass video reviews. S subscribe to us. Follow us on Facebook. Find us on Twitter. Whatever. Stalk us. I don't know. We'll talk to you later. Bye. It's hot. Oh, my God.